You know what? I can say that Washington should use the term repressive regime and everything that you quoted regarding Washington, with regard to Washington, because it is hard to imagine more repressive regime than Washington in international and national affairs. With regard to your question in particular, according to our information, so far Washington has not given so far any credible information or evidence that Indian citizens are involved in uh, the um, preparation of killing of uh, some panoon. As for the speculations, since there is no evidence, they are not acceptable. Regular groundless accusations by the U.S. against New Delhi, and we see that they not only accuse groundlessly New Delhi, but also other states in violating religious freedoms reflects uh, the fact that the U.S. simply does not understand the national mindset and the historical context of the development of the Indian state, and they are not respecting India as a state. And we believe that it stems from the neo-colonial mindset, the colonial mindset during the times of slavery and imperialism. And by the way, it has to do not only with India. And uh, the reason is that they try to unbalance the domestic political situation in India in order to make it harder to have the general parliamentary election. And that is part of the meddling into India's domestic affairs.